What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 build video. Today's build video is going to be one of the best uh, builds for console players. If you're a console player or you're a PC player and you struggle with uh, aiming your weapon, if your reload speed is too slow, if you want some more accuracy with your assault rifle, if you want to utilize weapon swapping uh, talents in the game, this will allow you to have very, very fast reloads, weapon swapping, accuracy and stability. We are going to be talking about the build that I'm going to bring you today, which is going to be called uh, the handler build. So this, like I said before, if you're a console player, you're going to love this. Uh, even if you're a good aimer, I feel like a lot of people uh, underestimate how strong weapon handling is. Uh, remember, a weapon handling gives you reload speed, weapon swap speed, accuracy and stability. Reload speed is a form of DPS as well. So even if you're very good at aiming and you're a PC player, having extra, even stability helps. It allows you to hit more targets to the head. So it's really, really good for any kind of headshot build. So let me quickly go over the specialization for this. Uh, this build is not going to be a huge damage dealer or an ultimate survivability. I just want to showcase the various ways in which you can put weapon handling on your build. How can you fully utilize it? What's the max amount you can have? What is too much? What is too little? All those questions will be answered in this video. Let's have a look at the specialization. I think right now specializations are very well balanced. Now, if you want more stability, sharpshooter, breath control, gives you more weapon stability and reduced recoil, which is pretty much the same thing, and faster requisition of targets. So you can go for that. Uh, there's some other items here, but it doesn't really matter. You get outgoing healing protection from elites. I'm sure everybody knows about all of these you get skill uh skill haste group members get 10 percent bonus to you know, targets uh but you can just go for whatever you want to go for personally i like to go for the gunner now the reason being is because you get armor on kill which is actually really really strong right now also every third reload is 50 percent faster and i feel like lmgs get the the biggest benefit from utilizing weapon handling because the big box gets a lot smaller with the more uh, accuracy and weapon handling you stack and it actually becomes so so potent from long ranges even 50 meters you can hit headshots which i will be showcasing at the end of this build video so make sure everything is active i'm going to be utilizing the lmg you can use whatever secondary you don't even have to use an lmg i'm just going to showcase it because one of the best weapon handling weapon talents is an lmg so let's go over the actual build itself. Remember, like I said, use whatever specialization you want. I've actually formulated a really, really strong build. It's not even just, you know, just a, a complete rough build that I actually made in the PTS. Because in the PTS, I, I didn't really want to focus too much on creating a good solid build. Uh, I just put weapon handling pieces randomly. This is actually a solid build. And this is what I would run if I wanted to only run a weapon handling build. This is perfect. So let me go over everything right now. Uh... The weapon we're going to be using is the new reliable it's an lmg it has got perfectly optimized which has 30 percent weapon handling which is really really strong this gun is an absolute beauty it does a lot of damage it has decent rpm and it's a laser beam i'll showcase this to you guys in a second i've also got the rail slitter because i want to showcase all the various guns that give you weapon handling this gives you perfectly accurate which is a form of weapon handling which is really nice you also get reload speed on the attributes so you can go for this it's really really strong the faster you reload the quicker you can put your damage on the target it's nice uh, but let's just have a look at all the pieces first uh, so what i've done is i put two piece striker the reason being is because we get 15 percent weapon handling for the two piece overlord gives us 20 percent accuracy for the two piece and 10 percent weapon handling now there are other ways to get uh, accuracy and stability but weapon handling as a whole is the strongest way to get everything up Rather, instead of going for just accuracy or stability, go for this. Uh, the 20% accuracy is really nice, especially for some of the weapons like the Chameleon, which I'll be showcasing that later because I'm sure a lot of you might be interested if this build is good at the Chameleon, and it is. So let's go over everything in detail. Now, I think you've got the idea. The pieces that I've put together are pretty much going straight towards weapon handling. Uh, the reason why I've got the... I'll, I'll get to why I've got these two over here in a second. So we've got 1.3 million armor. I'm going to showcase this as an actual build. You don't have to like use it exactly how I'm using it. You could change things around. It's just going to be... This is going to be the best way that, in my opinion, how I would run it, if, especially if I was on console and I was struggling with aiming. So let's go over uh, the gun quickly. The new reliable. Go farm LMGs. It's very, very good. Uh, you can put whatever you want there in your tribute. It doesn't really matter. LMGs have damage targets out of cover, which is really nice because we will be stacking it. Uh, perfectly optimized. Very, very nice talent. It gives you a lot of good weapon handling. So make sure to stack that 30%. That's a huge amount. 
Rail splitter, we got perfectly accurate, like I said before. Very nice gun. Also, glory days, 100% stability, but you lose optimal range. I'm sure everyone knows about that. The swap chain, perfectly unwavering. This is the MP7 variant. Swapping to this weapon grants 400% weapon handling for five seconds. Trust me, that is overkill. That's why I don't really like using it. The 400% just doesn't feel right. It, you can hardly notice too much of a difference. Trust me, guys. I'd rather use optimal range for this because it, it just doesn't feel that great. Now, I want to compare a few other weapons. We're going to go over the chameleon and things like that in a second. Uh, let me just go over the, the build quickly. So, like I said before, weapon handling. Striker two-piece is very nice. I didn't go for the three-piece because I just wanted to focus on the actual weapon handling. Like I said, you don't have to have as much weapon handling. I think I've got about 120 or 130% weapon handling on this build. So imagine, 130. And I think the stability will, and accuracy will be higher than that because of other stats. Strikers, max out armor, max out weapon handling. We've got 1.3 million armor, so we're quite tanky, but we can dish out a bit of damage. Max out weapon handling. So on all the mods, I've actually decided to put headshot damage because we can hit headshots from long ranges and we're not going to be focusing on critting. Getting max crit chance is going to be difficult. That's why it's better to just go for straight up headshot damage. Now, another possible option that I was going for was DNH because you get accuracy and stability and headshot damage on the punch drunk. It's just not worth it. Weapon handling is just too good. So we've gone for that. Chess piece. Now, remember, there is a talent for weapon handling. This is great. Overlord, we've got weapon handling rolled on the attribute rolls as well. 7%, which is pretty good. I'd rather have headshot damage here, but oh well, can't be perfect. Then braced. While in cover, weapon handling is increased by 45%. So you might be wondering, well, you know, I don't want to go as much weapon handling as I've actually stacked here. Maybe if I just put the new reliable and just put braced on then i can have a balance a, a best of both worlds you can have a high amount of weapon handling and still use whatever gear pieces you want like i said this is just kind of like a, a guide for people to, to to see what kind of pieces they want to put together maybe hopefully i can give you guys some ideas from this so braced is very very good for this then we've got the holster striker weapon handling maxed out that's lovely remember the two piece backpack for the third piece weapon handling again companion i just got that on there you don't have to have that it's just really nice because if you have a drone or anything with you you can do a, a bit more damage which helps us because this build lacks in the damage department then if we go to the gloves and this is how i make up a bit for that damage loss uh, i've gone for petrol because this gives me lmg damage damage to armor eight percent which is very nice now we could stack an additional eight percent uh, weapon handling and on the knee pads but i just decided not to go completely maxed out so it's possible to get like 150 percent weapon handling so it depends obviously on your watch which i will go into after the build so the knee pads i've gone for fox's prayer because damage targets out of cover very nice and it's overlord which gives us that weapon handling so i feel like it balances everything out really really nicely all weapon handling all across the board damage to armor damage targets out of cover uh, and then let's go over the actual stats so this is where it gets interesting. So I've got 94% headshot damage. Look at this, guys. 126 accuracy, 90% reload speed, 113% uh, stability, 103% weapon swap speed, and 90% weapon handling. Now, that's not including braced, so it'll go over, way over 100%. So it's really, really nice. And then this accuracy will go... <laughs> this will go into big numbers so just you can calculate it if you want but it's 126 plus 45 percent which is quite big so i think it's great it works really well they're actually actual laser beams i'll go into we're going to go downstairs and i can showcase all of this to you guys i put the drone because of companion and the booster hive actually gives you weapon handling there we go the booster hive delivers oh sorry oh, my bad the booster hive delivers a stimulant to nearby allies and increases their weapon damage and handling so remember, this is a little trick. Weapon handling is given by the booster hive. That is another way you can stack it. So there's a multitude of ways you can stack it. So let's go have a look quickly. Now, I know a lot of people complain about the, uh, the chameleon not being very good uh, accuracy-wise. And I was one of those people. So I'm going to quickly showcase this to you. My stash is always full. Just bear in mind with me. So first of all, we're going to go over the, the guns. Now, you guys might be shocked for me to say this, but we have a problem with one of the weapons. So look at this. So normally, if you come to the range, you'll have a bad time hitting that target there 50 meters away. This is the new reliable. Have a look at this. Absolute laser beam. It, it's not even an issue. Like hitting headshots at a 50 is just, it's just easy. It's a piece of cake. Now, when we swap to the rail splitter, for some reason, it's still... Look at this. 
it still bounces around quite a bit. The stability is steady. The accuracy is not terrible, but as you can see, it's just... For some reason, it's just not... It's still good, but it's just not the greatest. Now, I'm a bit disappointed with the rail splitter. It's not bad. Obviously, I'm exaggerating with the distance. But if we go to the Eagle Bear, now bear in mind, the Eagle Bear increases as you continuously fire up to 30%. That's way less. But if, obviously, the Eagle Bear has got a bit more stability, uh, more accuracy, but the stability is not great. But I feel like the Eagle Bear even outperforms it because you can hit some good... Sh Look at that. It's, it, it's, it's like a laser beam. So... I don't know. It, 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 it's up to you. Like, I, I feel like I can hit more headshots. To be honest, I should probably move my damage numbers further from the middle. That's probably actually hindering me. That's interesting. So as you can see, all that weapon handling, and it's still jumping around quite a bit. I think if you move your damage numbers, it might be better. But obviously, as you guys can see, it's still a laser beam. You can still hit, you know, you can still hit your shots from from very far out. Now if you bring the target even closer, it's just going to become easier and easier the closer the target gets. Look at that, it's just a piece of cake. Easy, easy, easy. So let's have a look and see the chameleon. Now the chameleon has got terrible accuracy. One of the worst. Because it's kind of like, it is basically an SMG but it's an assault rifle. So as you can see, even with all of that weapon handling, it's still jumpy. Which is disappointing. So this is just a quick little... Look at that. It's terrible. It's still bad. Like, I don't know what it is with the way that this works. But even if... Even though we stacked all of this... So this, this is going to save you guys some time. Because this, uh, this shocked me. I, I couldn't believe it. I've just realized this recently. That's why I'm stuttering a bit. Because we still got all of that accuracy. And it's still trash. Hold on. Wait. That was the wrong gun. Let's change to this. So we go to the chameleon, right? Look at that, 91% accuracy, 55% weapon handling. So it's just, it's interesting, 90% accuracy, which is the little reticle is not supposed to bounce around, but it's still bouncing around a hell of a lot. So if you want to make a comedian build, I would, necess I would, I would only do it from close range, as you guys can see. Now, with that being said, everything else is, is a laser beam, ab absolute laser beam. Uh, weapon handling is a very good stat, but as you can see, some weapons, it just it feels better on them than others. The new Reliable, for some reason, is by far the best weapon for weapon handling. It's really, really good, and I recommend you guys use it, because if you want to make a full weapon handling build similar to this, you're probably better off just, you know, utilizing the, the, the new Reliable and maybe stacking about 20 to 30% on your build. So I hope this has just, it's just been a bit of a guide. Like I said, it's, it's a guide and a build, because this build is very strong, but I feel like certain guns just they just don't step up to the plate now if you go to your shade tech your watch level okay what i've actually done is i've gone for some accuracy six percent i've maxed out my reload speed and i've started going for my stability so remember that it's also this is all weapon handling so you can go for what except ammo capacity it's supposed to be swap speed but that's the only thing that's missing so just remember come over here and just make sure your, your accuracy it depends what guns you use or what kind of player you are. Like on PC, I would recommend guys for going reload speed. But if you're on console, stability and accuracy would be obviously first choices or first and second choice. But it's completely up to you. Just wanted to showcase this watch to you guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. Peace out, agents.